Hello, so my vlog is now exporting. I'm waiting for it to be done so I can upload it on YouTube uh, before I go to bed. But I'm working on the thumbnail and I don't know why I decided to go, well, I know why I decided to go with this thumbnail. I decided to go with this because uh, it kind of summarizes how I felt in the last vlog, but I'm seeing if I can kind of edit out my eye bags because they are extremely pronounced in this picture. It sort of works, but it's, it's kind of funny. It looks like I got beat up. It's kind of better, but it kind of looks like I'm a fish or something. The longer you look at this photo, just the weirder it gets. I'm just gonna keep the eye bags in there. Oof. Oof. I'm going to film a filling up a sketchbook page video today so I set my table up a different way and I'm going to film, film it a different way. I'm going to use my overhead camera shot and I'm also going to be using my vlog camera on this tripod to see if I can film anything from the side because I noticed that um, a lot of the drawing was obscured by my hand so I'm going to try this today. The vlog is now up. I actually woke up really really early this morning. I woke up at around before my alarm even which was set for like 6 o'clock. I woke up at around 4. I tried going back to sleep but I could not so I just decided to get up. I took a shower. I kind of took it easy. Um, like took my time to like just shower and like do my makeup and then kind of set up everything. I cleaned up my, my studio room a little bit and I have my agenda in front of me and I made a list of what I wanted to do. I also designed some more stickers. I've been going really crazy on the stickers lately just because I kind of, I've been enjoying making them and I'm kind of playing around in my mind making a sticker book. I don't know how that's gonna go and I'm pretty sure it's gonna cost me a lot of money but I'm thinking for TCAF, I'm gonna be, make, me, I'm gonna be making like um, a set, a limited amount of sticker books. They're not going to be printed on my online labels glossy sticker paper. They're going to be printed on more cheaper sticker paper, kind of just like a, a matte regular paper feel. And I'm going to sell a booklet that I'm going to put together. There's going to be, I'm thinking about five to ten sheets and then I'm going to sell that for maybe like twenty dollars more than that probably i don't know i'm just gonna have to calculate the cost how much time it takes me to make them how many i'm going to make and just the whole like designing thing i'm really excited about that idea but so i'm really i've just like been going crazy on the stickers and the sticker book i'm like oh maybe there should be a theme for the sticker book maybe it should be just like i don't know foods but but i think it's just gonna be all the sticker sheets that i've been enjoying making which is the cats one i've made a uh, the, the one the cats the bunnies so far the ones you've seen but i've already been drawing up like frogs <laughs> an ikea shopping mall date kind of thing like an ikea shopping day sticker sheet i've talked about that on my patreon discord and people seem to be excited for that one what else did i draw i drew like a breakfast thing like breakfasty food so just like random theme sticker sheets and i'm gonna compile them in a book and i'll see if i if that's possible to make so that's what's what's been brewing in my mind like the last two weeks or so i'm kind of afraid for my cricket because the cricket's gonna do a lot of the cutting it's going to be like sticker sheets like kiss cut stickers that you can peel off backings and there won't be how there won't be any backgrounds in this one because it's just going to be a lot of color yeah so that's what i'm thinking about right now that's what i did i kind of just sat down and drew some stuff i also drew some washi tape ideas because i told you guys that i wanted to create more washi tape designs the only issue is i've been i've been using my washi tape for 
a few days now and I find that it's the best the the stickiness the adhesiveness from this manufacturer is best used on paper I can't use it for packaging stuff like I usually use washi tape for an unpackaging order like when I put when I tape over the plastic sheets and stuff it doesn't really stick to plastic um, the stickiness kind of goes away if you kind of hold it for too long in your hand so like the oils in your hands transfer and the adhesiveness goes away uh, so I find that it works the best on paper so with the washi tape that I have that I've made works the best on paper so I'm kind of hesitant to order more from this manufacturer even though I'm very happy I kind of want my my washi tapes to be more versatile versatile so they could be used for packaging orders and putting it on other stuff but at the same time uh, maybe to find a different manufacturer that offers you know more stickiness might cost me a lot more money and I've already like been spending a lot of money on products because yesterday I just got my art books in and I really need to sit down and kind of calculate how much I've been spending on these products so I don't know uh, I still want to go ahead with the manufacturer despite the the, the fact that it doesn't my washi tape is just purely washi tape good for diaries and and bullet journals and paper on and sticking it onto paper which is fine like that's what washi tape is usually used for so um so yeah i've gotten a couple of people who've contacted me and asked about like my manufacturer and they've said oh i've contacted your manufacturer and i and i really hope you guys don't get mad at me if you get your washi tapes from my recommendation because I talked about it in the vlogs I'm, I'm getting kind of nervous about that people will order from the manufacturer I chose because I thought it fit my needs and they might be disappointed in the in you know in the the end result and I really hope that doesn't happen because I've kind of talked about my washi tape experience based on what I want and what I've done and I just hope people don't blame me if they don't like their you know their end products I just hope so not not like I'm not being kind of like I don't I don't know what the word is. I just I just don't want that to happen to me because I've I think I've been clear in saying that it was my washi tape experience. So I'm just kinda of nervous about that. I, I don't think people will but but I just wanna put it out there in the vlogs that if you do decide to go through my manufacturer and you are disappointed, I'm I'm very sorry about that. But it this is like my personal experience with this manufacturer which i think they are still really good so okay i just want to put that in the vlog and what else am i going to do today i have to do i sent off those comics that i was working on last week i sent them off to be reviewed by the people by the magazine people i haven't heard back from them i think uh, i got a message a vacation message that they were away today um, I want to film that YouTube video. I want to kind of think about my first behind the scenes comic post for Patreon which will be going up on February the 1st, February the 2nd depending on when I get to post it and when I finalize it so that's in the agenda today and uh, that's pretty much it and today I'm going to try and get out of the house at around 4 because I need to go to a friend's place with my boyfriend because we are planning a trip to um, Munich in September so I haven't really talked about this yet because it not, it's not set in stone but there is a possibility that I will be going to Europe in September so the idea is we are going to go to October Oktoberfest in Munich and then after after three days of that we're gonna meet up with other friends in Rome and just we're gonna do some stuff I haven't really planned we haven't really planned it out yet it's all really really kind of beginnings and I'm, I'm not getting too excited because in the end it might not work out but I've already taken those days off so that's what I'm I'm, I'm gonna do and, uh, and I'm gonna, I might be going to Europe that's really exciting so I'm gonna start filming this art video hopefully it works out well because it's another filling up the page thing like I mentioned which sometimes may not work out depending on my mood so let's get started here and um, hopefully it'll be up by this week if it turns out okay all right youtube video is now exporting and you can cross that off my list and the last thing i have to do in my list if i do it is to prep the first behind the scenes comic post and patreon and some project stickers but i'm gonna add to this list i'll do that stuff tomorrow because what i wanted to do was um do some sketches for a project let me add that in pen pen where's my pen Mm -hmm. Sketches. So I finished 
editing, filming and editing the uh, next filling up a sketchbook video. So, okay, it's filling up a sketchbook page video. Um, it's a little different. It, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm quite happy with the end result of the drawing in terms of the just as a sketchbook drawing, but not as a final drawing. So I'm trying to keep that in mind, but um, it will be up this week. So by the time you see this vlog, which will hopefully be on time, you'd have seen that video. So let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, so far, so good. I think I'm going to make some coffee because I haven't actually made coffee today. And then I'm going to work on some other stuff. I'm also going to work on more stickers today because I want, I have a, I have a, like an Ikea shopping sticker sheet that I've started. So I want to try and coloring that and see how that goes. I'm just going crazy on the stickers. Really. So crazy. <laughs> So this thing that I just shoved in my mouth, my boyfriend made like tofu, uh, Sichuan, not Sichuan, um, general Tao tofu instead of chicken is with tofu and he, um, fried up these tofu things, tofu cubes and they're so good just, just on their own. Mm. working on is sketching out and doing a little bit of you know experiments and studies on this project that I think I am on board for I have a thing with contracts if I don't sign something or if I don't see it printed out and done I don't really want to talk about it because I don't like telling people that I've done something and then it didn't work out but I'm going to talk about it because I think it's a go um, you remember short box and so the, the um, owner of Shortbox, Synab, on Twitter said that she wanted to do a John Wick zine. And I really enjoy John Wick. And you know me, I'm not um, a fan art person. I really like very specific things and I usually don't do fan art. But I really enjoy the movie John Wick. I really enjoy how Keanu Reeves portrays it. I really just enjoy how blatantly action it is. So um, she said... If anybody would want to participate you know just send me a tweet and I did and I emailed her a couple pitches yesterday and she approved them so now I want to like experiment with the style that I'm going to be doing it at it's not going to be my kind of um, the island style you know that very heavy traditional look it'll be um, it'll be more mostly a humor comic so there's it's going to be done digitally and I'm trying to experiment on how I'm going to do it because I'm going to have to translate a lot of action in it and humor and I can't really do that with my traditional look I mean I can but um, it's just going to be a very short comic it's going to be six pages long and I am going to try and see what I can do with it that's why I'm doing some sketches and I'm very excited about it because this is kind of my other than the card captor zine that I've volunteered that I volunteered that I signed up for and did a couple years back if you've been following me for a while you've probably seen that um this is totally different so it's gonna be I also did do a princess mononoke zine but I don't know if that's out yet uh anyway so I'm doing some sketches and I think I am going to put on the first um first movie and the second movie because they're up on Netflix and the third movie is coming out which I think my brothers and I are gonna watch are gonna watch uh, so I'm very excited about that um, and I can't film much of the sound so it's going to be silent because you know YouTube and copyrights but hopefully this works out. I'm going to try different techniques and I will show you my experimentation. I won't show you the final like thumbnails and layouts and product of it until the, the zine is out but I will show you some sketches. So my planning trip just got cancelled so I don't have anywhere to go 
tonight and I can continue working. I am currently working on my comic stuff because I will be posting up a first behind the scenes thing. I think I've said this multiple times, but I'm I'm on the blurb website and I think I'm gonna go through them if I do end up printing. I'm just trying to decide what size the comic is going to be. I want it to be slightly bigger than my art book, which is somewhere. Um, so the blurb sizes, they have a 5x5, five five, which is too small, 7x7 seven seven is too small as well, and too square. 8x10 might be the standard, like it's a standard portrait, so that's 8x10. I need to lay it out here, hold on. Okay, I might go with an 8x10 actually. I wonder if this is Dina's size for her green books. I'm pulling out all the books that I have just for reference, and it looks like it is. Yes, so her Grey Legs book, by the way, if, if you haven't checked Dina out, you should check her out. This is her book, Grey Legs, and it is an excellent example for me. So it's an 8x10. That's awesome. Okay, 8x10. I do like her printing here. This, she, she, she did say where she got it printed. I might look at her website or her video. Um, I'm just trying to think of the size. I think this might be a good size. They have a large landscape, 13 by 11, that's way too big. And they have six different types of papers, three cover types. Ooh, they have hardcover. Hmm. Cool. So I'm looking at the blurb.ca website under photo books. Uh, they also have magazines, which I think might be something that might work for me. Magazines. What do they have? They have... You know what? No, magazines don't really work. They have a specific type of paper for that, so I might just stay with photo books because I have the option of doing hardcover. So I think I'm going to go with this 8x10 size, which is Dina Norland's Grey Leg book size. It looks great. It's big, and yeah, uh, and I think I'm aiming for this graphic novel, this comic, to be about 100 plus pages, hopefully 150. So, <laughs> I don't know, it's very early stages right now, but I'm excited to, I need to lay down the foundation, which is the sizing, and then the next thing after I figure out the sizing, the next thing I need to figure out, this is all after thinking of the story, is style. I need to figure out the style I'm going to go with. Yeah. The first page of a comic, the establishing page, is always really stressful for me. But once I get through the first two, first few pages, I'm pretty much good. So it's it's just always kind of like I need you need to set the the stage, especially for something that is kind of big. Well, I'm not saying that many comics don't set the stage, but oof, foof, foof, foof. So. So I have a bunch of comics that I own kind of pulled out. This is what happens whenever I draw a comic. I always pull out my favorite comics and I kind of look through them and see how, you know, they've done it. Like this is um, Beauty by Carascoet, that duo that I really love. Um, just beautiful use of colors and just the layout. So I'm kind of drawing inspiration from a bunch of these different um, comic books. I think I need to pull out another one that I just thought about curveball so this one is totally different style wise but getting an idea of um, layouts is also really good let's see how he does his establishing shot the first page it doesn't have to be like really big but like look at this this is a whole like setting the kind of the scene I need more space. <laughs> There's not enough space on this table. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, I have started my thumbnailing. I will be posting all this the stuff that I'm doing, even the writing that I'm doing, which is kind of embarrassing, up on Patreon. I will be posting whenever I want. It won't be like a weekly thing. It'll be up on the Patreon Discord spontaneously. Whenever I have anything, any new updates, I'll put it up on there. And then if I have packaged updates, like in a video form or in a blog post that I'll prepare, sort of semi-regularly maybe bi-weekly it really depends i will be putting that up also on the patreon dashboard so everybody can see it because some people don't use discord so i want to keep everybody you know up to date and covered it is now nine o'clock i had a very productive day but i am going to end it i'm going to get ready for bed i my laundry i took it out finally i'm going to fold that um so i got my first graphic novel post on patreon up so that was supposed to be up on february the 2nd but i decided to post it up early for patrons just as a special thing so that is up if you are one of my patrons and you haven't seen that yet make sure to check it out uh it's it's on the dashboard it's on the patreon dashboard and it's also on discord there's a link to the post um and then there's all the details there i worked on like you saw earlier a couple like uh some of my comic which i posted on patreon and then I did work on another sticker set, which I'll just show you guys tomorrow. I got everything crossed off my list except for one thing. I was waiting for a couple sticker sheet papers, sticker sheets to come in, but with Canada Post, they delayed because of the horrible weather conditions yesterday. And they're supposed to deliver today, yet outside is all fine, but there's going to be a storm tonight, so it's probably going to be delayed again, which is really annoying because I need those sticker sheets to get what I need to do done in time but what can you do it just happens so i'm gonna get ready for bed i'm gonna clean up my studio for tomorrow because it's a little bit of a mess stuff is kind of all over the place so i just want to make sure everything's all set for tomorrow and then i'm gonna get ready for bed because i would like to lie down okay i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> almost two o'clock in the afternoon i just finished working on this new illustration that i put up on my website and stuff it's another practice that i really wanted to get done today i know i could have done it later in the week but i felt like it so i did that and i'm i need to put it somewhere where, where am i going okay let's just put it here right now the next thing i'm going to do is um start pick start picking start packing up the uh plateful pre-orders so I'm going to do that. I had already printed out the sticker sheets that are going with it. Um, so that's all ready. I just need to start packing. Uh, some people ordered other things on top of the art book. So I have to make sure I get that done. But yeah, um, I'm going to do packing for a little bit. And then I think, um, I don't know what else. I had the John Wick thing on my list today, which you saw me working on earlier. And then the next thing I did was I did that illustration piece. I did answer back a couple of emails that weren't too important i just just etiquette wise i just want to get back to these people and i did that and then now i'm gonna pack so there will be shots of me packing stuff even though i've done that so many times in so many vlogs before so yeah I've lost. I, I got out of the wrong 
Hey guys, it is now uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I've just been working on making sticker sheets and also draw. I decided I wanted to do original doodles in the art book pre-order so I started making these and they're just like um, portraits that I come up with. So I'll show you the ones that I have that I I packed all the, the other ones so I can't show you those but um, I'm going to show you the ones that I just finished and then um, my sticker paper came that I ordered from Amazon. I ordered, I don't know if I talked about this yet, but I am participating in the Light Gray Art Labs um, gallery show called In a Window. Uh, I don't think I can show you the sticker sheet yet, but I'm making sticker sheets for them and uh, that's going to be in February. So what I need to do is I need to create the sticker sheets and then I need to mail them and then it's going to be there for sale. Uh, so it's an exclusive sticker sheet for the gallery for Light Gray Art Lab. Um, I'm sure if you are on Twitter, if you are an artist, or if you just follow a lot of the art stuff, you have heard of them. And I've been kind of, I've known about them for a while now. I've been following their Twitter feed and that's how I found their callouts. Sorry if the cricket's really loud in the background. It just is like that. I actually did show the a preview of the sticker sheet in the last vlog like it was a very quick clip so um so i'm working on that hopefully i get i have to make a hundred so i'm kind of afraid of for my cricket i hope he can handle it or hope she can handle it whatever uh but yeah let me show you these drawings so like you saw i just did them with my uh, my pigma micron 08 and then a little bit of watercolor sometimes i pull out my pencil crayon just like for her eye eyeshadow here this one is for Joanne. This one is for my favorite person, Torko. Uh, this one is for Sajida. This one is for Christy. Oh, I think I spelled her name wrong. I'm gonna, I need to put an I <laughs> in the end here. Uh, this one is for Rose. And this one is for Dina. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to make a bunch more of these, not too much, that's why I decided to do them. And then I pack them in with the stickers, the art book, and my business card, and a note. So, quiet cricket. It's so dark in here. So that is the update. I am going to sort of end my day now. I'm just gonna continue making sticker sheets and hopefully get at least halfway through. And my cricket doesn't die. Um, I'm gonna talk about more a little... I'm going to talk about the Light Gray Art Lab gallery show a little bit more after I do the printing. I don't think today I'm going to stop vlogging because I'm going back to work tomorrow and I have a bunch of like social stuff to do so I won't get to vlogging until this weekend. Um, also I need to finish these sticker sheets so I'll talk about that maybe later on in the vlog. Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon, 1 o'clock. I woke up maybe 20 minutes ago, got ready, kind of dressed up for the day. Uh, because I want to get some stuff done. So uh, the last vlog, I think, the last video or the last clip, I would think I was making stickers. So I'm going to continue making that and I'm going to work on a couple other things. But first, I'm going to make myself some breakfast. Yesterday, my parents and my brother and I went to Costco because my dad has a Costco card and I got croissants. So um, I've been really into croissants lately. I've just been like really obsessed with them. So these look so good and they smell so good right now. 
Um, so I'm gonna make them and I'm gonna make some coffee. Oh, and my dad also bought like this, um, cause this came in two, I guess Kirkland brand Nutella. And he's like, just take one. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'll take one. I really didn't want to, but he was kind of a little pushy. So now I have some hazelnut spread. I haven't had this in my house, something like this in my house in a long time. So maybe I'll have some this week, but for now I just want pure croissant. <laughs> I guess I could toast it in the oven, but I'm going to try and put it in the toaster because I'm lazy. Look at that flakiness and just softness. It sort of works. I just have to toast one side and toast the other. Yeah, our toaster is really old. We should really get a new one, but it's just working so well it doesn't really matter right now. I just finished making my coffee and I'm already out of my croissant. It's that time again. Um, I actually bought new um, inks, so because they were running out, um, they lasted me quite a while. So I'm very happy to be getting these because they're going to be lasting for a while as well. Um, I get my ink for my Epson at Ink Owl, and I hope they never go out of business and they never disappear because these inks are really good and amazing. So I'm going to get rid of most of this stuff. This is the empty stuff. When I bought these new, this new set of inks, they came with a new set of cartridges and syringes. So these are new syringes. And um, uh, I've had my old cartridges in here for a very long time. These are new, the new ones. I tried to replace a, a cartridge with just a, from the new package, but it, it prompted me to replace everything. And that may kind of makes sense. So um, it's all good. It's all nice and fresh. I am going to refill a lot of these. This is the... Oh, they're so empty. Okay, so it's just because I've been printing so many stickers. So it is Sunday afternoon. I woke up at about maybe 7 or 8 this morning. My boyfriend is going away to a... He went away for a business trip. So he's away. He's gone all week. Uh, so I woke up and kind of said goodbye. And then I just stayed up and um, I was working on some stuff. I finally done printing out all those stickers for Light Gray Art Lab. Um, I just need to cut two more sheets into the proper size. And then I am going to see into... I'm going to probably package them before tomorrow so I can ship them off. But yeah, I'm finally done. My Cricut didn't die. I was so worried that it would, I don't know, just like explode or something because um, I printed out a hundred sheets. There were one or two, a couple misses where it cut really badly. I wasted maybe like three or four sticker sheets. But what I did for the Light Gray Art Lab is I did not use my online label stickers, sticker paper because I really like that paper. I looked over at Amazon if there was any cheaper um, equivalents and I did find one and it's like not so bad at all. It's a little light but it's still really glossy and the color holds really well. So I'm going to purchase more of that sticker paper. I'll try to remember to leave a link down below um, on for Canadian Amazon. You can probably get it at American Amazon too. But 
um, yeah, so that's what I did. I finished that up and I'm just so happy not to be hearing the, the cricket working because I like wanted to vlog but I didn't want the cricket sound behind me. So yeah, and then, so this morning I worked on, I actually worked on a job that I got just this week. I was contacted by Amino. It's an app. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. I've seen a lot of YouTubers, um, YouTube artists especially, kind of um, be sponsored by the Amino app. Uh, so they they um, asked if I would do stickers, like a sticker set. So they sent me over a contract and everything like that. I signed that off. I sent it off. So it's um, pretty much official. So I will be designing a static sticker set. So 12 stickers. They asked me for a quote for um, stickers that are static, that don't move, and also animated ones. So I was comfortable doing animated ones because they're just going to be really simple movements. So I gave them a quote for animated versus static and it was kind of funny when it came in i was really excited because you know i've been really liking making stickers so i don't know how they found me they probably found me online on twitter because i've just been like posting a bunch of sticker stuff so uh they contacted me and they're like yeah and it's funny because i finally pulled out the graphic artist pricing and ethical handbook guidelines uh, which I bought I think late last year and I looked and I kind of like looked for the category that this job was for and they did give me a quote so um, I was like reading over this and it also talks a little bit about contracts and stuff like that so I read this and I was like okay I have an idea but I just feel like it's so high that's such a high quote and I, that as it should be but because of me because I just don't really do these things and I find like I don't know, I just thought it was really high and I don't want this job to go away so I was like really doubtful about giving this quote. So what I did is I went online and I asked somebody on Twitter that I followed who is a fellow artist who has worked with Amino before and we're kind of like mutuals I think. She follows me on Twitter and I follow her on Twitter and I've seen her in a couple of conventions so I just asked her and and asked her like how much did you quote them if you could give me some advice she replied to me and it's about the same amount of quotage as the guidebook so i just need to trust the guidebook um but yeah that's what happened this week and i'm really excited i've been thinking up about i've been thinking of sketches so i've done a bunch of sketches and tomorrow i'm going to be sending them a couple of sketches so yeah so that's what happened and i'm, I'm very excited about it and it's like it's kind of a big deal for me because it's one it's a job where a company that i've been hearing about so many in, like in so many avenues like well obviously on like youtube because a lot of youtube artists have been sponsored by amino um asked me to do a job for them so it's really great and i will definitely update you once it's all done the sticker set should uh they gave me some deadlines so the sticker set should be out by uh, late February or early March and I will definitely post some pictures on my social media and on update you on YouTube of course so yeah I just wanted to add that into the vlog make sure to get this handbook if you are you know doing going into freelance and you don't know how much to quote people because this is very helpful it not only talks about pricing but it also talks about contracts and rights and certain things that is going to be helpful for you um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I am going to finish up these sticker sets, cut them up and package them and then I would like to work on packing up more pre-orders. There's not a lot, I just need to sit, stand, stand over there and do them and uh, probably start editing the vlog towards the end of the day. So I will update you guys in a little bit. I'm just editing the vlog right now. It's about like 5.15 and I'm so sleepy. That's weird. I don't remember taking this out of my, my room. Anyway, I'm going to continue editing the vlog. I'm going to show you guys the latest Draw This In Your Styles that I received this week. I feel like I'm missing somebody, but I can't find your tag anywhere. So so if you watch this vlog and um, I didn't include it here, I couldn't find your tag. So send it to me again, please. If you guys have drawn my eggplant girl, make sure to either message me or tag me and let me know. Because I don't like... 
I don't retweet them or repost them right away, but I will put them in my vlog. All right, so let's let's do this. First one is by Edith's Colors. Thank you so much for this cute little drawing. Her face is really cute. I gave it a 10 eggplants out of 10 eggplants. Next the one is by Knorla. I hope I'm saying that right. I really like how you did the like the double eyes. That's really cool. I've never really done that in my art. I should try and do that. So I definitely give this one a uh, 20 eggplants out of 10. Next one is by Willie, William Matsumoto. This is really nice. I really like how you did the texturing underneath her, um, I guess her trench coat. I really like that look, so it's really cute. And her face and her profile, just really nice profile. I give this mm, maybe like a really thick eggplant out of 10. This one is by Doodlehoff. I just really like how creative and gen gestural this is just how there's a lot of movement so it's really cute i like how the eggplants are falling out of her butt well it's not in her butt but it's falling they're falling out of her trench coat i really like this thank you so much doodle ha for trying out the eggplant girl next one is by freelandish look at all this attitude in this drawing i really love it i also really like how the eggplant turned out and also her hat so thank you so much freelandish this is awesome next one is by fido steven is she not wearing a shirt I like that. It really just accentuates the look of the eggplant. So <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you. This one is by um, underscore MVI underscore underscore. I just really like how you did her hair. I don't know what materials you use, but it looks like a lot of mixed media. And the colors in the eggplant look really great, especially the addition of the yellow in there and also the highlight. So thank you so much for your rendition of my eggplant spy girl. You, it looks so great in your style by Shai Lunaka. Thank you so much for your drawing of my eggplant girl. Uh, I just really like the way her pants are tucked underneath her socks. That's quite like a fashion choice. It's very, very rebellious. So I really like that addition into the <laughs> eggplant girl drawing. Thank you so much, Shai Lunaka. Next one is by Snow Finch. And Snow Finch, you did her pants really well. I just really like the way that looks and the flip in her hair. I really like adding that in my style, in my drawings as well. So that's a really nice addition there. The next one is by Migeya. I love the addition of the swatches on the right side of the drawing and all the little eggplants on, on the side of her as well. Just really cute and I just also really like the way you drew her face. Very nice style. I like it. Thank you so much, Megaya. This next one I received from uh, NCT 87 Uh I just like how, you know, just the doodleness quality of it. I just like... I like that a lot. Even like the pose, it's so nice. I just how I just like how fluid it is and I really like that in my drawings and I just don't really like looking at yours. It's really nice. Thank you so much for this the drawing. So guys, that's all the draw this in your style um, submissions that I received this week. If you would like to submit them to be on the vlog, just send them over to me. Make sure you tag me because I feel like I missed a, like one person. I feel like I saw it this morning and then it disappeared. So just send me the tags or, you know, leave me a message on Twitter or on Instagram so I can post it so I can see it. Thank you so much. This week's Patreon shout out is to Cam. Cam, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. I know you are a recent patron, so really thank you so much for getting on board to the Patreon and helping me out. It, I really, really appreciate it. Cam, I hope you have a great week and guys, I hope you have a great rest of your week and that you enjoyed this vlog, especially you Cam, because this vlog is dedicated to you. So, uh, I will see you guys in the next one and